Sean had great talents and skills. Always admired, growing up, always admired Sean's amazing sense of humor, the way that he would able, be able to make jokes off the top of his head. Also, he had wonderful qualities. I really was always inspired by Sean's sincere compassion for the less fortunate and his deep love for every person he met. But also, just like all of us, Sean had another side to him. Yes, we all have another side to us. A side that doesn't always want to do right. A side that wants to give in to temptation. A side that gets frustrated and, and loses hope. We all, we all have another side to us. And Sean recognized that he had another side to him. In fact, I remember just two or three nights before he died, we were praying together. And Sean, Sean mentioned how he felt as though there were two people inside him. He even made a reference to Dr. Jackal and Mr. Hyde. And I can relate to that. And I know that all of us can relate to that. We want to do right, but we keep doing wrong. The good that I would do, I do not. But the evil that I would not, that I do. We all, we all can relate to that. And I remember we live in a world so full of temptations and full of discouragement. And I remember how the whole family was very concerned about Sean. And I remember my mom and I, in the weeks leading up to his death, I remember how we didn't really know, the whole family really didn't know exactly what to do. You want to help somebody, but you're not totally sure how to help. And I remember we were, the Sunday before he passed, we were in church, and it was a very special moment because at the end of the church service, the pastor made a special invitation for people to come up and, and for special prayer. And my mom and Sean and I went up, and we were praying. And I tell you, I was very concerned about Sean because it seemed like the challenges that he was facing was starting to snowball. And, and, and I was very concerned because I wanted him to be all right. And I didn't know how to help him. My mom didn't know. My dad and my, my brother Greg and Marlon and all of us, we didn't know how to help him. But I tell you, when I was there praying, and I remember we sang Amazing Grace, and it was like I felt this peace come over me. And it was, that, it was like a, it was a peace that only God could give, and it was a peace. And it was like the peace was telling me everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. You know, in Philippians chapter 4, it says, in a verse, it says, Do not worry about anything, but in everything, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. And that's exactly how I felt. I felt as though the peace of God was guarding my heart and my mind. And it, it, it was as if that moment in church was preparing me for the following Wednesday. Wednesday evening when we got a knock on the door and it was two detectives, and they came in and they gently told my mom what had happened. And I was shocked, but still, as I prayed, I felt the peace of God guarding my heart and my mind in Christ Jesus. And I hope it doesn't sound arrogant or prideful, because really, I am a weak person. And my family is a weak family. We are insecure, we are sensitive, we are weak. But what makes us strong is the Lord Jesus Christ. He makes us strong. It's because of Jesus. We can say, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. It's because of Jesus Christ that allows us to be able to say, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for God is with me. His rod and his staff, they comfort me. He prepares the table before me, even in the presence of my enemies, my cup overflows, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We all, here's the thing, I'm concerned about Sean, especially his soul, 
You know, we had many conversations. Did Sean accept the Lord Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior? To be honest, we're not totally sure. But the thing is, is that we can't judge anybody. And the truth is, is that we all are sinful. We all need God's mercy and his grace. And we pray, and I want to ask everybody to really, to really pray for Sean. Pray for his soul. Because, you know, yes, his life did not always reflect his faith in Jesus. But he did tell me once that he, he did accept Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. Even though we perhaps did not see a lot of fruit in his life, but we know the power of prayer. We can humble ourselves, we can pray, and God can do anything. God can have mercy on anybody. And so I want to ask you to please, yes, pray for the family, but in particular, please pray for Sean. Please pray that his soul is saved. And I want to reach out. I want to reach out because there may be people here who do not have a strong relationship with God. And here's the thing, is that I just want to reach out to you and say, if you ask God for help, God will help you. If you humble yourself, confess your sins, He will help you. He will save you. Hey everybody, I just want to take one more minute. Can we pray? Everybody please bow your head. Dear God, we come to you in the name of Jesus. And Lord, you know, you know all about Sean. You know all about the issues that he had. You know all about the challenges that he faced. And Lord, we just want to ask you to please have mercy on Sean. Please have mercy on his soul. And Lord, also please have mercy on all of us. Because all of us are sinful. All of us need your love and your grace and your mercy. And please, Lord, as we pray to you, please help us to, to come to you. Whenever we're feeling any type of negative emotion, any type of worry or fear, please help us to come to you and to pray to you. And as we pray to you, Lord, please guard our heart and our mind in Christ Jesus. And Lord, as you give us peace, please help us to be ministers of your peace to others. Because we know that you comfort us so that we can comfort others with the same comfort that you have given to us. Please, God, please help us all. Lead us all. Guide us all. Please, God, we ask this in the name of Jesus. To you, God, be all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen.